something to turn to when you feel out of control. Hi, I'm Ed Riggins, but most people just call me Riggle. Welcome back to Thoughts for Thursday. Check out this condensed quote from an article titled The Real Magic of Rituals from the September issue of the science magazine Nautilus. When they experience uncertainty and a lack of control, people are more likely to turn to ritualized behaviors. This is known as the compensatory control model. We compensate for lack of control in one domain by seeking it in another. Whether this sense of control is illusory is of little importance. What matters is that ritual can be an efficient coping mechanism. And this is why those domains of life that involve high stakes and uncertain outcomes are rife with rituals. The article cited study after study showing measurably how rituals can help us to cope with uncertainty. Stress is a measurable thing that shows up in the body in places like your saliva as higher levels of cortisol and in your autonomic nervous system as lowered heart rate variability. The article spoke of athletes who turned to ritualistic behaviors before and during their games to help them be more competitive. He gave example of people living in war zones whose stress was measurably reduced by participating in religious rituals. In my own case, I journal, I meditate, I pray, I'm a part of a spiritual group, I recite passages from ancient wisdom traditions to myself every day. Wherever I am, I try to find a place to walk for my morning coffee. About three days a week, I sit and smoke a cigar, drink a little wine. These are some of the rituals I turn to for comfort. The article reminded me of an instance from my own life a few years ago. A transition period for me professionally came at the same time there were some family issues that fell to me to be addressed. To, to be addressed. I was experiencing enough anxiety about it all that I thought maybe I should go see a psychologist. It would be a good idea. And it was. I sat down. I told him my tale of woe. He listened carefully and then he asked me if I had any tools that I usually used in these situations. I said kind of proudly, yeah, sure. I journal, I meditate, I pray, I'll do these, all, all these other things. He paused for a moment. He said, well, are you doing those things lately? Not really, I said. It's another pause. He said, well, maybe you should start doing those things again. This dude did a great job of not laughing in my face during our session. I'm pretty sure he cracked up on the way home, though, thinking about the obviousness, to, uh, obviousness of the solution to my problem. Do you have any comforting rituals of your own that you should be maybe doing more often? Rituals are ancient, and they work. Thanks for joining me. Doors closed.